Planning your next trip but worried about the budget? Fear not, we've got you covered. Welcome to a journey where dreams meet reality without emptying your pockets. We all know that travel can be a costly affair, right? From airfare to accommodations, from food to fun, every little thing adds up, sometimes transforming the trip of a lifetime into a financial nightmare. But hold on, what if we tell you that you can experience the world without breaking the bank? Sounds too good to be true. Well, believe it or not, it's absolutely possible. The trick lies in smart planning and making the most of the resources at hand. You see, travel isn't just about splurging on luxury hotels or dining at Michelin-starred restaurants. It's about immersing yourself in new cultures, exploring unknown terrains, and creating memories that last a lifetime. And guess what? All these experiences don't necessarily come with a hefty price tag. In this series, we'll be sharing tips and tricks that can help you plan a budget-friendly trip without compromising on the fun or the experience. We'll delve into the magic of off-peak travel, uncover the secrets to smart accommodation choices, master the art of packing light, and explore affordable food and transportation options. So whether you're dreaming of sipping a cup of coffee by the Eiffel Tower, exploring the bustling streets of Tokyo, or soaking up the sun on Bali's pristine beaches, we're here to help you make it happen. Get ready to jot down some notes because these tips could be your ticket to your dream vacation. We'll take you through each step of the journey, from planning to packing, and from arriving to exploring. So, are you ready to turn your travel dreams into reality? Then let's get started. Stay tuned, as we unveil the secrets to budget-friendly travel. Ever considered traveling during off-peak seasons? It could save you a fortune. Imagine visiting the Eiffel Tower in Paris without the usual throng of tourists, or lounging on a pristine beach in Bali with fewer people around. That's the magic of off-peak travel. It not only offers a more relaxed and authentic experience, but it can also make a significant difference to your travel budget. Airfare and accommodations are typically the most expensive parts of any vacation. But during off-peak seasons, airlines and hotels often slash their prices to attract more customers. This means you can score some fantastic deals, making that dream destination much more attainable. And it's not just about cheaper flights and accommodations. With fewer tourists around, you'll find that restaurants, attractions, and local experiences can also be much more affordable. Now, let's dive into some examples of destinations that are great for off-peak travel. Take the Greek islands, for instance. While most people flock here during the summer months, visiting in the shoulder season of late spring or early autumn means mild weather, fewer crowds, and lower prices. Or consider Japan. While cherry blossom season is undeniably beautiful, it's also incredibly busy. Traveling in the off-peak months of June to August can give you a unique, less crowded experience. And it's not just about the money. Off-peak travel brings with it a sense of tranquility, a chance to experience local life as it truly is, without the distortion of mass tourism. Imagine walking through the streets of Rome, not with thousands of other tourists, but with the locals heading to work, children playing in the squares, and the city alive with everyday life. So, the next time you're planning a trip, why not consider off-peak travel? With a bit of research and flexibility, you could discover a whole new world of travel experiences while keeping your wallet happy. Off-peak travel could be your golden ticket to a budget-friendly adventure. Why spend a fortune on hotels when there are budget-friendly options out there? Let's play the game of smart accommodation choices, shall we? When planning a trip, it's not always about the ritzy hotels or the five-star resorts. In fact, some of the most memorable travel experiences come from the humblest of accommodations. Take hostels, for example. They might not offer the same level of privacy as a hotel room, but they more than make up for it in affordability and social opportunities. Hostels often have communal spaces where you can meet fellow travelers from all corners of the globe, exchange stories, and form friendships that last a lifetime. Then there are guest houses. These are typically smaller than hotels, offering a more intimate and personal experience. You'll find them particularly common in Asia, where they provide an authentic local experience at a fraction of the cost of a hotel. Guest houses often come with the added bonus of home-cooked meals and insider tips from the owners, who are usually residents of the area. And let's not forget about home exchanges. This is where you swap homes with someone else for a set period of time. It's a fantastic way to immerse yourself in the local culture, and live life as a local would. Plus, it's often completely free, which is a massive bonus for the budget-conscious traveler. 
these alternative accommodation options can significantly reduce travel costs, leaving you with more money to spend on experiences, food and souvenirs. It's about making your money stretch further and getting the most out of every dollar. But remember, budget accommodation doesn't mean you have to compromise on quality. It's about being savvy, doing your research and finding the best deal for you. There's a world of options out there, each with its own unique charm and appeal. So next time you're planning a trip, consider these alternative accommodation options. They might just surprise you with their value for money and enrich your travel experience in ways you never imagined. Remember, a cheaper accommodation doesn't mean a lesser experience. Did you know that packing light can save you money on your travels? It's a simple concept, but it can make a world of difference to your travel budget. Let's dive into the ins and outs of this art form. Packing light begins with the understanding that you don't need to take your entire wardrobe with you. A rule of thumb? Pack only what you'll need. This is where the idea of a capsule wardrobe comes in handy. It consists of a few versatile pieces that can be mixed and matched to create a variety of outfits. Think neutral colors, classic cuts, and clothes suitable for the weather of your destination. Next, consider your luggage. Opting for a carry-on bag can save you those hefty checked luggage fees. But remember, each airline has its own carry-on restrictions, so always check the dimensions and weight limits to avoid any last-minute surprises at the airport. Now let's talk about packing techniques. Ever heard of the rolling method? It involves rolling your clothes instead of folding them. Not only does this save space, but it also helps to reduce wrinkles. Alternatively, you can use packing cubes to organize your clothes and make the most of your suitcase space. Don't forget about your toiletries. Travel size products are your best friends. They take up less space and are less likely to cause a mess in your bag. And remember, liquids, aerosols and gels in your carry-on need to be in containers of 100 milliliters or less. Last but not least, consider the essentials. These include travel documents, medications, and any other must-haves. A good tip is to keep these items in your personal item, like a backpack or purse, for easy access. So there you have it, folks. The art of packing light is about making smart choices and being efficient. It's about bringing what you need and leaving behind what you don't. And the best part? It can save you money, making your dream trip even more attainable. Remember, packing light is not just convenient, but also kind to your wallet. Food and transportation, two areas where you can make smart choices and save. Let's start with food. Street food is not only an affordable option, but it's also a way to taste the heart of a culture. Local markets too offer fresh, inexpensive produce and the chance to cook for yourself if you have access to a kitchen. Now, for transportation. Public transportation is typically cheaper than taxis or rental cars and gives a unique window into the daily life of locals. In many cities, a week or month-long transit pass can be a real money saver. If you're in a place where it's safe and popular, consider bike rentals. They're often budget-friendly, environmentally friendly, and a fantastic way to explore at your own pace. So there you have it. By embracing local food scenes and utilizing public transit or bikes, you can stretch your travel budget further. With smart choices, you can save on food and transport without compromising on the experience. There you have it, folks. The secrets to traveling the world without emptying your bank account. We've covered the magic of off-peak travel, letting you experience the charm of your chosen destination without the crowds. We've discussed how smart accommodation choices like homestays and hostels can drastically cut your expenses without compromising on comfort. You've learned the art of packing light to save on luggage fees and to travel stress-free. Lastly, we've explored how to enjoy local food and transport giving you a more authentic experience while keeping your wallet happy. Remember, budget-friendly travel isn't about depriving yourself. It's about making smart choices, planning ahead, and embracing the journey. It's about the thrill of discovering new places and creating memories without worrying about expenses. Before you go, please like, share, subscribe, and comment for more thrifty travelers' content. Here's to your next budget-friendly adventure.